Liberty Balls is getting a facelift. I honestly never thought this day would come, but I'm so excited because it's been confirmed on the Call of Duty podcast, aka the COD pod, that that very controversial zombies map, Liberty Falls, both had some aesthetic elements hidden from the COD Next showcase, but also, and most importantly, that Treyarch has actually taken on board our feedback and is adding more elements and detailing to the zombies map to make it more resemble the atmosphere that we've come to expect in our zombies experiences. Let me roll this clip. Has the zombies team made any changes to Liberty Falls since we first saw it at COD Next? Yes. Short answer, yes. yes. Um, Next question. The Liberty Falls that everyone saw at Call of Duty Next was work in progress, right? That map was still months away at the time from launch. And so the Zombies team has continued to iterate on Liberty Falls um, since then. And the visual tone and sort of the look and feel are now a bit moodier. Cool than what people saw in the work in progress version at uh, Call of Duty Next. So that's very exciting. And um, there are some atmospheric elements that people did not see at Next because at the time we had the main quest and the Easter eggs disabled for broadcast. No you know? spoilers. We didn't want to spoil it. No spoilies. And so I think um, there's a lot that people haven't seen in terms of those elements. Um, and something to look forward to for launch. Now, this is honestly a really big deal, and it's shown us that for what feels like the first time in forever, Treyarch is actually listening to feedback and implementing that feedback that they're taking from the community. I don't want to be too overdramatic here, but this has genuinely taken my hype levels for Black Ops 6 Zombies from a solid 3 out of 10 all the way back up to an 8 out of 10, just like it was back when we got our first look at the map Terminus. This news could very much be the confirmation we all needed that COD Zombies is truly getting the treatment it deserves this year. The fact that number one, they actually listened, and number two, they were were also approved to make changes by the higher-ups, this really does mean we have power again as fans and players. For too long, it's felt like we were screaming at a brick wall saying, please fix our beloved mode and would hear nothing back. But now, it really does feel like things are starting to look up. Honestly, this changes everything for me because it's one thing to release a product that we don't like and then just say goodbye and move on to the next thing, ignoring all criticism and outcry, but to actually be in a position where our complaints, criticism, and worries are not falling on deaf ears, this is truly game-changing. Treyarch having this new mindset of listening to their players actually has more power to take us back to the glory days of zombies than any good map could on its own. And some icing on this already beautiful cake is the fact that they mentioned the HUD is getting some improvements and changes, and honestly, I cannot be more more excited and also impressed with what seems to be a new mindset or even possibly a new culture emerging at Treyarch Studio. A few of the HUD elements and zombies are also getting touched up, um, which we'll be able to share a little bit more about as we get closer to launch. So make sure you look out for the upcoming COD blogs mm. um, from the Call of Duty crew and the zombies team to uh, learn a little bit more. It's the entire focus of the team to develop round based experiences for this game, as in only RBZ. Yes, uh, and Kevin Drew, who was on our last episode, who is an awesome human um, and, and leading many parts of uh, Zombies of Treyarch, uh, mentioned this at Call of Duty Next, that the team is entirely focused on developing round-based zombies content for Black Ops 6, and that the big news at Next and on our second episode yeah. was that the third round based zombies maps for BO6 will arrive by the end of the year. So we've got Liberty Falls and Terminus at launch, and then a third Jeez. round based zombies map coming, <laughs> you know, probably around season one. But by my math. Genuinely, I had found myself saying that I'm so glad I'm already subscribed to the Xbox Game Pass. Otherwise, I don't know if I could justify paying full price for this video game. But if this new mindset is going to stick around at Treyarch, this mindset of what players think actually matters and can dictate the future of this game, then I'm here for it. And who who knows, maybe one day down the line I'll buy the game on Steam. But hey, that's pretty much all I had. I just wanted to ramble and rant and scream and shout a little bit about the awesome news coming to COD Zombies. Brought back a little bit of hope for the future of this game mode and for the studio as well. So hey, goodbye. I hope you all have an abundantly blessed day and I'll see you next time.